All right, so with summer coming to an end, the fall season upon us, we only got a few good days left of the pool. And I thought maybe this episode, since people seem to love the pool anyway, and I've gotten a few questions about keeping it clean, what we do, I thought we'd go over this bad boy right here, the Triton Dolphin, which, uh, or I guess it's the Dolphin Triton, the Dolphin makes it, this is the Triton PS. But it's this little pool cleaning robot that uh, has actually been doing really well. And today we're gonna put it to the test again live because, well, I'll show you the pool. Check this out. So as you know, sometimes Texas gets some wild, like, wind storms, and we just had the wind blowing like crazy, and we got so many leaves in the pool. But this, this thing has been great. Let me show you a little bit of the insides here. This is the large particle traps that come with this. There's also a sediment filter that's even smaller on them to pick up all the little things you get in there, dirt and silt and things like that. But this is what's gonna get our leaves, and don't let the basket size fool you. It might not look like much, but it does some work. We had a Polaris before that was also pretty good, but uh, nothing compared to this one. So we're gonna go ahead, give it a run, and check out the unboxing of it and just see how it works. We can say something about it though. I just thought it was a cool angle. We got a robot. Pool cleaning robot should be coming with its own pump. Y'all, we went out this morning and there's like this spider on his back just floating around just doing this like weird eight-legged dog paddle thing. And we would get the robot to clean it up. I don't know if y'all know this, but I, I'm not a huge fan of spiders. I have baby How would we even say that? Sure. Right. No, trash chills are good. Yeah, Thank good you. until they bust in your house, steal your wallet, beat your kids. Eight legs. Let's see what we got. Uh, I don't need instructions. We might need instructions. Hmm? It's like something out of Star Wars. It is. This is our. I've got no good R2. R2 clean tube. We got right here to clean this stuff. <laughs> All right. Well, that's cool looking. How's this better than the one we got? We're different. So, from what I understand, the cleaning robots, they, they do run on their own power supply, they don't need a separate pump, which we have a pressure pump outside, or a booster pump with a pressure cleaner for a little Polaris. That, it actually does pretty well. The Polaris is not bad, it's going around picking up everything. But these are supposed to be like workhorses, just clean the entire thing. They stick to the wall, climb up the sides, they can scrub for you, clean off your tile. So we thought, why not, let's give it a shot. What else is in the box? Another huh? power system. Nothing else there. And we've got a series of filters. And they get extra clean. How heavy? I'm not even sure how heavy this thing is. This is maybe, this is maybe like 25 pounds. It feels like 25, 30 pounds. We got welcome to the Matronics family. Thank you for choosing this thing. I wonder if they'll invite us for Thanksgiving. They will, but the turkey's at the bottom of the pool. We gotta <laughs> jump in and get it. <laughs> so it looks like these little things, which I assume means these little things. Mm -hmm. And there's clear plastic somewhere on the sides. I don't see clear plastic. I don't see clear plastic either. This is making me wonder about the whole brand new thing, because I says remove clear plastic rings, and I don't see plastic rings. Board and safety instructions, we'll just get back to that in a little bit. There's so many of these. I don't see that one, I don't know that one. 
Dolphin power supply, basic operation. All right, plug the power supply. No. We're gonna see if we can install each of these filters. So we had to use YouTube to make YouTube. It's a full circle, circle of life. And it looks like, it looks like it was an easy thing. All they did was kind of uh, push on the inside here. Pop out your filters. There are two different kinds you can use for it. I'm guessing there's just a fine grain, one for like, I don't know, sandier materials, pollen, that sort of thing. All right, pool time. Let's get our power supply hooked up here. We gotta leave the instructions again because this piece does not seem to be fitting very well into this piece. So we're gonna find out if we're even doing it right. I'm gonna look at the instructions. I'm doing it, I'm breaking down, looking at the instructions. All right, so it looks like this little tiny piece up top has to be lined up. And there you go. Click that into place. Screw this in to hold it. Swing away any mosquitoes buzzing around your head. It's gonna be summertime, especially so springtime and summertime. Mosquitoes be everywhere. All right. Don't so press power until we get the robot in the water though. Why not? Because it'll just drive into the <laughs> Yeah, it'll be gangster. It'll just like clean the neighborhood. That's all I'm trying to do. <laughs> So now we go ahead, toss the robot in the water, and then kick start it, see what happens. Now, the descent. <laughs> All right, so we can go ahead and let that run for a little bit and give you something to eat. Come back and check the filter, see what it did. All right, see you on the bit. What's up, everybody? We are back. It's been about, about an hour, hour and a half now, and we're gonna go ahead, turn off the power, and pull the basket. Let's see what it got. See uh, what's in the filter right now, so. Dang. Look at this. Hours worth of work. I don't think you have to even take it all out. I think you can just spray it with a hose. There you have it. Pretty easy cleanup. It actually did really well. Our Polaris does pretty well too in terms of like using the pressure to suck up the leaves, but I feel like this thing just got so much dirt and so much pollen in it. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what it does for, for us in the summertime when it gets bad. We'll probably run an update in maybe like a month or two, see how it's doing, see the longevity of it. Is it still cleaning well? Are the filters still working? We'll find out. is after, I mean, granted, it ran it for like a whole day and everything, had to click on a couple of times, but man, it made it so much easier. And the pool is like sparkling now. That's pretty much it. Just gonna enjoy the pool while we can. Maybe we'll get a few more hot days. I mean, it is Texas after all. So you start thinking you get into fall, winter, and all of a sudden it's 90 degrees and we do always have the hot tub. I think winter in a hot tub would be nice. I'm definitely gonna get in a hot tub. This is the first year I actually even owned a hot tub, so of course I gotta try some of this stuff out. And of course, we have a couple of other videos highlighting the, the benefits and fun times had at the pool. There is the birthday party episode. Super hot. <laughs> 
boss room workout pool workout uh, episode I found that I'm starting to put on a little bit of this stay at home weight so I decided to try out a water workout that I found from MMA superstar boss rootin where we've been doing that for a bit and honestly I was a little skeptical of pool workouts before because it's I'm so used to weight lifting it seems kind of strange to me to only be doing something that deals with like it's not even body weight resistance it's just the resistance of the water itself so I was skeptical at first but we've been doing it for a while now, and honestly, I really like the results of it. So we got to figure out what we're doing now with winter coming up and it being too cold to do these. When it warms up again, springtime comes around, oh no, we're going to be back in the pool again. We got ourselves a little Triton by Dolphin to help keep it all clean. So, until next time, everybody, stay calm, be relaxed, enjoy the pool, enjoy what's left of summer, and enjoy this upcoming cold weather, because that's... No more sweating. It's uh, it's gonna be good.